what a good day this was. I want to share something with you today um, because um, last Sunday um, Stephen preached a message on progressive revelation and he changed something in my heart and, and in his sermon he mentioned a scripture that me and him talked about a bit earlier in the week regarding his message and I want to share something with you today because that small little scripture had a significant change in my life this week and as it changed my life I believe that scripture can change your life as well and if it changes your life you can go and change someone else's life as well that is in need of the Word of God. I want to start by reading to you 1 Corinthians 10 verse 7. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 7. For we, though many, are one bread and one body. For we all partake of that one bread. In Corinthians, Paul had to correct um, the, the church of Corinthians quite a lot because they had customs and they had sin within their life that impacted um, the members of the body tremendously. And Paul understood something about the body of Christ and his identity within Christ Jesus that he repeatedly and constantly had to remind the church of Corinthians about. So I want to um, ask and say, um, why did Jesus need a church that is, <coughs> that is holy? As Peter teaches in one of his letters, you might say to me, Peter, but it's difficult to um, live a, sin, uh, a sinless life or to live a life devoted um, unto Jesus because um, we have our own way, we have our own will and, and it's so easy in the day just to skip maybe scripture reading or, or our daily devotion to God. But God doesn't want us to be overcome by these things. Listen to what um, 1 Peter 5 verse 5 is saying, as God is giving us a helper to overcome the sinful nature we so many times are accustomed to and to fall back into. 1 Peter 5 verse 5, likewise you younger people submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility, for God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. When we humble um, ourselves, God gives us grace to overcome sin, because grace is the power that God gave us through the Holy Spirit, so that we can make a choice. When we get to a crossroad or when we get to a place where we need to make a decision, my will or God's will, God's grace is there for us to choose correctly every time. Because the power of, of the Holy Spirit and the grace that God gives us is enough to overcome that temptation to sin. Listen to what Romans 6 verse 14 is saying to us. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under law, but under grace. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under law, but under grace. What does this mean? So maybe in the moment, I have a choice to make. God's will or my will. And I choose my will. It, it simply means that I was too proud in myself maybe to say, Lord, your will and not my will. And then grace sometimes withdraws and um, God resists um, the decisions we make and then we fall or we fall into sin. Church as a many member body um, but one bread within Christ, Jesus don't want us to overcome, to be overcome by sin that will spoil the whole bread. When people partake of this bread it needs to be fresh, full of the overcoming grace of God. So God teaches us in the word the following. Listen to what God is saying about you within Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 12. For as the body is one and has many members, 
but all the members of that one body being many are one body also is Christ 1 Corinthians 12 verse 27 now you are the body of Christ and members individually so church if I can ask you a question today and I ask you are you ready to say to the world and the people that you are a disciple imitate me just as I also imitate Christ because Paul said to the church in Corinthians he says imitate me because I follow Christ it is time that we step up and not step down from from the will of God from from what God has for the body of Christ in this time and in this age because he needs us to lead from the front like I said last time let's do this let's step up let's be a people that that is filled with the grace of God so that we can say and do the will of God in time and out of time in season and out of season let's be that one bread so that when people come to us and they need to take from the from the bread and wisdom guidance comfort provision whatever it may be let us be those people let us be the people that can give from the bread of life remember the fullness of God lives within you and that his divine nature is within you and that God's grace is enough for you you can just be still and know that he is God and that when you seek him in time you will be able to be that bread of life for the people coming to you for comfort let me pray for us father i just want to say thank you for being with us every day thank you father that we can declare that you are the king of kings and that you are the lord of lords father everything was created for your glory and father your will will prevail and father we say thank you that we can declare as it is in heaven so also on the earth father i pray that we will be the bread of life for people that is in need of a savior father i pray that we will give them comfort and that we will will share uh, the wisdom of the holy spirit with them when needed and father i pray that when we get to a place where we need to choose your will or our way father that we will choose your will every time father because you teach us that we can come boldly to the throne room of grace and when we come boldly to the throne room of grace and we humble ourselves and we clothe ourselves with humility that you will be there that you will be there to help us Father, because sin will never have dominion over your grace. And we say thank you for that. And thank you, Father, that you bestowed it in us to carry it, Father, with us, knowing that you are, the, you are our helper. We honor you and we glorify you. And we say thank you, Father, that you are our King. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May you have a blessed day. And I ask that God will lead you and that he will show you progressive revelation from day to day within the word of God.